Here comes championship round 14. So here comes my latest set of bold predictions. One wing wonders. We all love a dribbly wide man to get us out of our seat. So what chance we get our star dribblers turning up this weekend. Leading the championship for successful dribbles are third, Amari Hutchinson of Ipswich, second, Kamal Dean Sulemana of Southampton, and first, Ruben Colwell of Cardiff. Problem is with these mercurial creators, and these three particularly, they tend to get used off the bench. And despite having the best dribbling numbers in the 13 rounds so far, Colwell, Sulemana, and Hutchinson have only started six times between them. They might be needed though this weekend with Ipswich going against the old foes from last season. Plymouth, Cardiff face Bristol City in the seven side derby and Southampton face a Birmingham side in need of a kickstart to the Wayne Rooney era. As bold as I can be given, they might not start, is to predict this. One of Hutchison, Suleiman or Colwell will score or assist the winning goal for their team this weekend. Now, just to put some good energy into the universe on this, I'm headed to the Fan Hub app and predicting my Ipswich starting 11 with a Murray Hutchinson in it. You can do the same for your team in the predicted 11 feature. There are prizes up for grabs for the best predictors too. Download the Fan Hub app, but make damn sure that you do it using my golden ticket code, Ben-CU7. Two, overcomplicated. It's round 14 and we've got 14 consecutive championship wins stacked up between Leicester City and Middlesbrough. The Foxes' unbelievable start has given them an eight-game winning streak, while Borough's bounce back from an unbelievably bad start is now six wins on the bounce. Let's be frank about this. The whole world is going to predict a Leicester win at QPR. Rangers are 8-1 to one with the bookies to win that game, for God's sake. It would be bold to predict the shocker, but come on, I would not be being honest if I did that. Middlesbrough face Stoke, and despite the Potter's good win over Leeds in midweek, I still make Borough the favourite. So, in the interest of making this as bold as possible, let's predict that it'll be more complicated than it needs to be. Leicester to beat QPR and Borough to beat Stoke with one or both sides coming from behind to win the game. Three, leader of the gang. Let's go for some stat leaders to keep on keeping on this weekend. In Sunderland v Norwich, we've got two of the championship's hottest players, Jack Clark and Johnny Rowe facing off. 15 goals between the two of them already. Jorginho Ruta is making big chances by the dozen, literally, for Leeds United. And he's up against a Huddersfield defence that leaked four in midweek. Then there's Liam Delap. He scored in both games so far this week for Hull and is going against the Preston side at the weekend that have not won in six. And of course, he was on loan there last season. We've got to make this super bold, haven't we? So let's get behind all four of these players. I want five or more goal contributions this round between Clark, Rowe, Rutter and Delap. Bring on the carnage. Four, corner turned. Are we seeing a bit of a corner turning moment for Blackburn and Watford right now? They were both in the bottom five after 10 games, but we now have the potential for a nine point week at both clubs if they can win at the weekend. And there is a chance here. They're both at home and both their opponents are not having themselves a great week. Watford face Millwall, who have been without a manager the past two games since Gary Rowett left. Did well against the Hornets last season, but surely the absence at the top of the club will become a problem the longer it takes to get somebody new. Blackburn face a Swansea side who brilliantly won four in a row, but have now lost back-to-back -back home games so far this week and desperately will not want a zero point return if they were to lose again. You know me, I love my nine point hauls across a three game week, so let's back both sides to do it. Watford to beat Millwall and Blackburn to beat Swansea. Five, the tail enders. We have a Sunday and a Monday game in the championship this time around. And it's high stakes all around for Sheffield Wednesday v Rotherham and Coventry v West Brom. 
I do not need to tell you how important it is for Sheffield Wednesday to win. They are going to win at some point. Will it be on Sunday, though? Their opponents, Rotherham, have four points in two games. And if they make it seven in three, that is the sort of quick point splurge that can really make a difference for a side down in the bottom three. For Coventry and West Brom, it's a double surprise. If you told me they would be sixth and 20th at the end of October, I honestly would have called it completely the other way around. I'm not sure this is going to be a pretty couple of games. Proper championship trench warfare coming up, I think. I'll try and tempt a vital win for one of these teams by not forecasting one. Unhelpful stalemate in both games for me. You'll get 10 to 1 on my slightly bold prediction that Sheffield Wednesday v Rotherham and Coventry v West Brom will both be draws. There you go. That is my latest set of bold predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments or better still, get your own in. And remember, if you can't be right, be bold. Stick with us here on the channel and we've opened up the bold predictions concept to look at the Premier League the past couple of rounds with Mikey joining us for that series. Click here to see what he had to say about this coming week in the top division and support our little channel expansion.